Hi all the signs of the zodiac, I'm Pam and welcome to your psychic crystal reading for the new moon in Libra, October 19th, 2017. I'm going to look into my crystal and give you messages and predictions from my spirit guides for the four elements, earth, water, fire, and air. The earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. The water signs are Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. The fire signs are Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. And the air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So the first group of signs and element I'm looking into is Earth. I feel that some uh, earth signs are going round and round in circles about whether to buy something. Maybe you need a new car or buy a new house or, you know, buy something major possibly. And I see you going round and round in circles about that. Some of you earth signs want more recognition. So maybe you have a job and you feel like you're not getting the proper recognition from your superiors or from your clients. Or if you own your own business, maybe you don't think your business is getting its proper recognition. Or it could even be with your love, a love life relationship, your family. Uh, many of you earth signs may feel like you're just not getting the recognition that you would like. Some of you earth signs are going to be specializing in one particular area of focus. So possibly you might be doing something like majoring in a particular subject in school if you're still getting education and training. Or maybe your job, you have a lot of different duties and you're going to go tell your superior, I want to focus on one particular area. I want to be put in this department. It could be something like that. I feel some of you earth signs are going to have to go through prioritizing because I feel some of what you are doing or some things in going on in your life have gotten out of whack. And so you need to like start making lists and pre prioritizing uh, and not scattering your energy too much in too many different directions. Or maybe you're giving your energy too much to certain people that don't deserve it or shouldn't be as high on your list as you're making them or, you know, some areas of endeavors that you're working on. Maybe you, you need to look at, re, you know, look it over earth signs and, and you know, reprioritize comes up. Some of you earth signs may feel like you want to stand up for a cause. You could maybe you don't like some political thing that's going on and you want to stand up for it. Or you don't like, um, you know, some laws or situations that are being passed. Or it could even be in your own uh, place of business or in your family. You may want to stand up for some kind of cause. Some of you earth signs need to be guarded that you you could I get the word jumpy in two ways you could be feeling extra jumpy by this new moon in Libra but it could also be indicating you could be jumping from one thing to the next or if you have a lot of romantic partners you could be jumping from one romantic partner to the next but jumpy in two ways comes up so you remember these uh, these new moon effects can last until the next new moon in November. So it could be until the full moon. It's possible, but usually it takes you all the way till the next new moon. So this is like a 30 day. I don't know if that's exactly right if it's 30 days, but the next new moon period, it, this it can apply to. You may be thinking of ways to subsidize your income. And if you're not doing it in this next 30 day period, you may be thinking of ways in your mind, like thinking of ways to formulate uh, some plan that you can execute later on, that would be subsidizing the income that you have. So you have to think on that. You could be coming up with ideas and, you know, like, oh, you know what? I could make some money if I did that or I did that. So think on that, Earth Signs. Anything ruffled feathers or anything where legalities have kicked up, I feel like that may settle down. So now I'm going to look into the elements of water. These would be Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. 
some of you water signs are going to be affected by this new moon in Libra by travel where it's going to bring up either that you want to travel for fun or you're if you have a business or if you're working they may require you to travel for that could be even traveling to see relatives or if you have kids in college or taking kids to college uh, could also be a reason too also for some of the water signs I see if you've had any projects or love relationships that have been stop start stop start stop start it's going to go now it's either going to go forward or it's going to end a meaning go it could go either way but I really feel like they mean it's going to go forward that that was my feeling there I also feel that some of you water signs need to consider that if you are in question of something someone's actions someone's words or a job or anything you have to question it in your mind and be certain that there is no more question and you know certain beyond a shadow of a doubt so you have to think this is very general so how that applies to you you have to if there's questions which is right for you to question and you are like dither weighing like should I shouldn't I are they telling the truth are they not you know anything that's in question you have to be sure you know for certain beyond a shadow of a doubt some of you water signs may be feeling a little underappreciated not loved as much uh, misunderstood looking craving more love affection and attention you may feel like your emotions are um, you like you want your emotional selves to be fed so you may be craving like more love and attention and physical intimacy from your partner or but it really comes up more to me like you want displays of emotions to come to you I'm not saying you're not willing to do it it's just like it's like you're wanting it to be expressed to you you also may feel like you are having to do a lot of things that are trial by error and you may have to do things over again so I know it's not income tax time but you know it's not April but some of you may file estimated taxes or something or any paperwork or documentation or anything you created or any work you've written you may feel like you did stuff with trial by error but now you have to do something over again rewrite it rework it redo it uh, that comes up for some of you water signs I feel you water signs really need some uh, good situational comedy and some laughter like you would definitely benefit from going to a comedy show or watching funny movies or if you do that stuff yourself maybe you're a stand-up comedian on the side you need comedy you need laughter you need things that are fun uh, and I feel you're going to be gravitating towards those things during the course of the 30 day you know from this full new moon this new moon in Libra to the next new moon in November so now I'm going to look into the elements of fire this would be Leo's Aries and Sagittarians I feel that some of you fire signs are going to come clean about something you've done so if you've investigated somebody and looked them up and searched them on the internet and wanted to see like maybe you're dating somebody or you have a friend or maybe even your relative and you wanted to see do they have an actual criminal criminal background you know maybe you're googling them but beyond you know that looking into people's backgrounds um, or like maybe you have kids and you went through their drawers and tried to see do they have any pot in their drawer or any prescription drugs or are they you know are they hiding something from you and I feel you're going to come clean about anything you've done that would be kind of like of a snooping nature I see that some of you fire signs may be stylizing yourself differently you may decide to get like highlights in your hair or change your appearance in some way get a new hairstyle buy new clothes get facials massages 
but d s stuff that would highlight you, highlight your face, highlight your hair, uh, that comes up for some of you fire signs. Some of you fire signs may be trading up for a better model. So maybe you have a new car and you're going to trade it in and you're going to get a better car. Or maybe you have a home and you, you know, you like it, but it's not to the level you want or a, an apartment. You'd like a bigger, maybe you have a one bedroom, you want a two bedroom, or you'd like it in a different building, or you want to be closer to water. You may be upgrading something. And that could even apply to love relationships. I know that's not a nice thing to say, but you may also be looking at your love life or somebody you're dating and think, this person isn't the right person for me. I want to upgrade to somebody else. I know that sounds harsh, but, you know, upgrading can mean quite a few things. So that's also coming up here. I get destructive forces behind words. So you may find that either you have people coming to you saying things to you that have destructive forces behind the words that they're saying to you. Or you could be the one doing it. The words you're saying to someone else in your life could have destructive forces behind it. So just be aware of that. Any of you have anything to do with a boat? You may have trouble with a boat or something capsizing, uh, like over, you know, maybe overturning in water because the water's too rough. Uh, but I hear the word capsizing. Um, that's a little weird, but it did come up here. I see some of you fire signs, uh, as the guides put it, taking a drink in the waters of different people. <laughs> That's how they worded it. Um, and I feel what they're saying here is you may find yourself over, from now to the next new moon, uh, <clears throat> you know, socializing with new people or getting involved in new groups or organizations or taking new classes or going to meetup groups or something where you're going to be associating with new people. Some of you fire signs. If you're all a fire sign that's been waiting on an answer for something to come through, an approval of a loan or yes on a marriage proposal or uh, whether you got, whether the people accept the bid you put on a house, uh, any, but anything, whether you got a new job, anything where you were waiting on word, that word is going to come through for you in the next 30 days. You're going to get that word you've been waiting for. So now I'm going to look into the element of air. This would be Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Some of you air signs may be doing something out of the ordinary. You may be stepping outside of the box or outside of your comfort zone over the course of this new moon to the next new moon in November. Some of you air signs are going to get a releasing of funds where something that was owed to you finally gets paid to you. This could be a loan that needed to get paid back to you or a commissions check or an insurance payout or a dividend check, or uh, <clears throat> I don't know, but it's like a payment, a payout, something you've been waiting for, or it, it finally comes to you, something. I don't feel it's a surprise. I feel like you're ex you wanted it to happen, or you're expecting it, and it's finally going to happen now. Some of you air signs may be talking to people <clears throat> about what you can do to upgrade your status uh, maybe like um, on your in your job or your online status. You may be looking to, you know, maybe you have a job or a business that operates on upgrading like where you are on Google or something to do with social media. Some of you may be looking into like how you can upgrade your status. And talking to people about it, like getting feedback, insight, information. This can also be if you're at a job 
and you may be talking to your superiors or co-workers that may be a little bit higher up than you like what can I do to get this job or get this promotion or upgrade my status I feel you're going to be inquiring and talking to people about that anybody that displays any vindictive or bull bullish or bullish behavior to any of you air signs is not going to be tolerated I feel you're going to call people out on their crap and I feel like you aren't going to be manipulated or backed into any corner by anyone this could be ex-spouses ex-loves uh, people out there in the world that want to rock your boat for some reason and steal your thunder or give you upsetment I feel like you're not uh, <clears throat> you're not going to tolerate that you're going to put a stop to it or put your foot down or stand up against it some of you air signs are going to see things really clearly and if there's any jealousy among family members it's going to come boiling up to the surface and you're going to be able to see it really clearly so look for that you know you it's not it's not going to be hidden it's going to come up now how you handle it and how you deal with it maybe that's when you're maybe that's the thing you're going to put a stop from when I said you're not going to tolerate any crap from anybody maybe it's due to that because I do get some of you witnessing jealousy from family members coming out and boiling up to the surface <clears throat> I also feel some of you air signs are going to realize that happiness comes from within and that you're going to do some things for yourself that bring up uh, bring you peace happiness so if it's you know going on a little vacation or you know getting manicures and pedicures and going shopping or if it's you know hanging out with friends or being more social or spending more time outside I feel the air signs are going to start to realize you know happiness comes from within and that you may have to be your own source of happiness and so do things that are going to make you happy over the course of the next new this new moon to the next new moon in November so I hope these messages were of help to all of you signs out there and I hope they made sense I want to thank you so much for watching sharing and liking my videos thank you for subscribing and for Google plusing I do truly appreciate that and please be sure to subscribe that way you'll get notified when I post my videos here on YouTube if you're interested in getting the special videos I recorded for the middle of the month of October which goes into the end of this year of 2017 and go out into 2018 called the chrysalis tarot spirit messages and predictions for each sign of the zodiac where I use the chrysalis tarot deck three cards from that deck and then three cards from the Hanson Roberts tarot deck to expand and confirm on those chrysalis tarot cards you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for the chrysalis tarot spirit messages and predictions tarot readings for all this each sign of the zodiac and you can also go to my website and get these videos at www theluckymermaid.com click on the videos tab on the menu and go to the most recent page which would either be page 11 or 12 uh, I'm not sure which page it's going to be on uh, or which page it's on my website at the moment um, and you go to that heading and click on your sign under that heading and it will take you to that video on Vimeo also if you would like to get a psychic crystal reading specifically for your sign you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the other link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for October 2017 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac available for download and purchase you can also access these videos by going to my website and going to the videos tab on my menu and go to page 11 and these October 2017 crystal readings 
are there on the bottom of page 11. You click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. So I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your month of October. All the signs of the Zodiac out there and know that I wish you many blessings and peace. Please check out my other videos that I'm posting to my YouTube channel, The Psychic Pastry Chef, where I'll show you how to make great cakes, desserts, and pastries you can make at home, and I'll give you psychic predictions for each sign of the zodiac throughout the video. I hope you enjoy them, and please be sure to check out the other special videos I'm recording for my Psychic Pastry Chef Vimeo On Demand channel. Thanks for watching.